So at some point you're going to need to navigate the viewports and actually manipulate them so you can get different results. We might not always want to have our quad view as we do here. We might want to focus on just one of these viewports. So one of the fastest ways we can do it is from our quad view here. Make sure you have selected the one that you want by clicking inside of it. And all we're going to do is we're going to hit Alt and W at the same time. And when we do that, that's the shortcut command to maximize our selected viewport. Okay. Now, if I want to minimize it back down, it's just Alt W. Now I'll take it back down. This will work in any one of these as well. So if I just click inside of this top view, Alt W to maximize, Alt W to minimize. Now we can change our layout of our windows as well. All we have to do is if you have this new tool over here, we'll cover it really quick. You can click this arrow right here to create a new viewport tab. And let's say I wanted this three little views and this one big perspective one. I can add that one to the stack. And now anytime I need to use it, I come over here and select it. And if I want to go back to my quad view, I can just click on this. Now, if you don't have Max 2014, what we can do is we can change this view by going up to this Views menu right here. We're going to click on it. And under there, about the third option down, you should see an option called Viewport Configuration. Okay, We're going to click on that. And inside there, you're going to have probably a bunch of different options. But you're going to have these tabs at the top here. And we're interested in the tab named Layout. Okay, So I'm going to click on that Layout tab at the top. All right, and now you'll see in here we have a bunch of different options the way that our viewport should be laid out. So I'm just going to click on maybe this split one. This should show the top and the front. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to hit OK. And now you can see it's actually updated our viewport to this mode. All right, and it's also changed this down here, but it didn't add any new options. So if you have the old version, this is the way you'd want to change your viewports. Now I'm actually going to go back to viewport configuration, change it back to my quad view. And at any point we can actually modify any one of these to be a different viewport. So let's say that I maximize this perspective with Alt W. And inside here, I, there's an option up here as a word that says perspective. I can actually click on that and I can actually change it to any of the different angles I want. So I can change it to top. I can click on the little word that says top now and click go front. And I can click on it and I go back to perspective. Now we have another option, which is we can just hit F on our keyboard to go to front. I can hit B to go to the bottom, I hit P to go back to perspective. And for all the other ones that we don't have, I can just hit V on my keyboard. And when I hit V, it actually gives me this mop up here. And I'm not actually clicking down, I'm just kind of here to select. And it gives me a fast way to select any one of the viewports I might need to get to. So when I hit B, it took me to the bottom, but maybe I wanted to see my back view. So I can just select back view from here. And anytime I want to go back, I can just hit P. And now I'm back in my perspective view. It's pretty handy. So I hope that explains a little bit about the viewports. Anytime that you're inside of one of these viewports, if you ended up in a front one, and you accidentally arced rotated by holding down alt and middle right clicking, it's just going to pop you into an orthographic view by default. So that's another fast way to get into viewport orthographic mode. And then again, P just to leave, come back into perspective mode.